Throughout North America, there have been thousands of documented accounts of what are known as alien big cats, or so-called black panthers, described as mysterious, huge, powerfully built jet black felids. Now, we must acknowledge that the word panther is not a specific scientific name for any known species. Rather, it's a general or common term used to describe various big cats with a solid color. Now, in terms of large cats with a solid black coloring, also known as melanism, there are specifically leopards in Asia and Africa, and also jaguars in South and Central America that carry that mutation. It's a very rare mutation. Uh, only about 11% of the big cat population carries that gene. Now, why is that a problem? Well, here in North America, for example, we only have one species of truly big cat, the mountain lion, Puma concolor, also known as the Puma or Cougar. There has never been a scientifically established example of a melanistic or black mountain lion. They simply don't carry this gene as far as we know. Now, there are a few different theories in terms of what people are actually seeing then. One theory holds that maybe there is in fact a melanistic or black phase or morph of mountain lion and we just haven't seen this yet, or at least scientifically verified it. Another theory is that what people are seeing are actually invasive or escaped leopards or sometimes jaguars that have gotten away from different exotic wildlife collections and assimilated into the wilds of North America. And yet one other theory holds that what people are seeing may be in fact black or melanistic jaguars that are migrating up from Mexico into North America. However, there are currently only about two or three uh, known native jaguars here in the United States and they're carefully monitored living in the southern Arizona region. So in short, I think that black panthers may in fact be another example of composite identity. And sadly, I think a lot of these accounts may involve cases of misidentification of known animals. Uh, things like large black house cats, certain large breeds of black dogs, calves, large bobcats, they can be melanistic. Or perhaps, uh, less commonly, mountain lions or pumas that are seen in poor lighting conditions. Thanks for watching and for the most intelligent, informative, and analytical conversation involving the field of cryptozoology, please subscribe to this channel.